Welcome to the new store. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see what happens here. This is it, $100,000 retail Macy's truck. There's a lot of stuff here. Here is where we're at so far. We have a lot of stuff to do. We've been trying to get it out of the boxes, get it kind of piled up, you know, stuffed toy. A lot of work to be done, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. We spent day one taking everything off the truck, getting it in here, unboxing it, and kind of sorting it into piles. Got some shelves up. The products you see now, I'm just trying to kind of group stuff together and get it off the floor. Not necessarily where any of this stuff's gonna go. Uh, matter of fact, we're gonna move the shelves closer together. This is just temporary, dynamic. Can't say enough about the slat wall shelving. We've made some adjustments here and there, but we're kind of getting an idea how we're gonna lay it out. We're not real sure how we're gonna do shelving in the middle. Try to get some stuff off the floor and on the shelf. I did have some help today. Jade came and helped me out, but for the most part, I just kind of hung it solo. Got a lot of stuff on the shelves and we're gonna be selling toy overstock, right? So my brother and I kind of decided we're just gonna be nice and easy with the name, keep it real simple. We're just gonna call it the Overstock Toy Shop. We just got a lot to get accomplished before our planned opening date, which will be the weekend, or I'm sorry, the week of Thanksgiving. I don't know how we're gonna pull it off, but we're gonna get there. Believe to achieve. We have done quite a bit. We got some shelving, got a couple of these middle three tier, I don't know what you wanna call them, gondolas. This is about a truckload. All of the stuff on the floor needs inventoried, it needs priced. We have a ton of stuffed animals. Got a whole pile of them back there. Got some in the storage. Also, we got the business cards in. Really nice, really clean overstock toy shop. Our socials on the back, Facebook, of course my YouTube channel, and our email. Obviously the store is gonna need some decor. You're gonna want some big toys around. I picked this guy up off Marketplace for, I don't know what I paid for him, a couple hundred bucks. A nice little addition. We're gonna have stuff like this all around the store. Like I said, it is a toy store, you know? We had the Target truck come in, so we are trying to get it unloaded. For the Target truck, it feels like we have a lot newer toys. I do know from packing it all in, there's a lot of these Pixo bits. There are a lot of figs in this load. I did see a bunch of Barbie stuff. I saw a lot of this same one. There's probably a hundred of these Smashers light up dino eggs. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Hey, look at that. It's an Optimus Prime. Yesterday, I kind of sorted out some of the wrestling stuff just to see what it was. A lot of DC Multiverse, Mega Blocks. There was Lego, a lot of smaller Lego sets, some Pokemon. There were definitely quite a few Funko Pops. I didn't see which ones they were. The big question is, can we make any money on it? The only way to really find that out is to separate everything, inventory it, price it, and that, my friends, makes for a long day. Today, we're gonna put some stuffed animals up. How's that sound? I think this will work. This is looking really good, a lot better than it was in my head. I'm putting stuffed animals in random places to kind of fill out the shell.
I am less than 48 hours from opening the doors to the toy store. So I will be the first to admit that I am just a tad bit nervous, feeling some pressure. You know, there's some time pressure, but there's also some, hey, am I gonna make it type pressure? And in my mind, there are two scenarios that can kind of play out, right? So in one scenario, nobody comes to the store, the prices are too high, the inventory will never move. It's just the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, boom. The doors get kicked in before I can even unlock them. My shelves get cleaned out and I'm sitting on a pretty good return, right? But then that goes into the second worst case scenario, which is I don't really have a bunch of inventory to restock the shelves and it takes a couple weeks to get these trucks in. So that is the best slash second worst case scenario. It's the day after opening day and it's Thanksgiving, right? So I just wanna say happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you're having a good holiday. I know you're probably wondering, hey, how'd it go yesterday? You know, was it busy? And it was busy, right? It was a good time. Everyone was really nice. We sold a lot of toys. There are some howevers. I didn't have everything priced. There was still some stuff, especially in the game section, that wasn't priced. And when people would bring it up, we didn't know what to charge for it for one, and you can't ring it up without a price. So that kind of delayed stuff a little bit. We were just going on the fly on a lot of this stuff. Hey everyone, it is the end of the second day. I guess what I mean by that is the end of the second day of being open to the public. It's been a long day. I've been out here for 13 or 14 hours, but honestly, it is very fulfilling. I feel really good. It just, uh, it's a really good feeling, but I wanted to show you guys the open sign. It's the first snow of the season. Lego is good because it takes up shelf space makes the store look fuller i got this looking how i want it it looks nice and full i'm definitely going to order some more of those i want a lot of stuffed animals in the store <laughs> hey couple more boxes to go Here's what we're gonna end up with. I'm really glad I put the 10 inch ones up a little bit higher. They look really neat. There's some Game of Thrones, Doctor Who, Star Wars, random. It's cleaned off, right? I've got some stuff up there. This one's a little empty as well. But on the positive note, I did get the Lego aisle straightened out pretty good. I need to put all of this stuff away and I need to start hammering out this back area. <sighs> one thing at a time, one thing at a time. really busy the sun is going down it's beautiful day out a little chilly but looks amazing appreciate a good sunset i feel like we did a pretty good job considering we were busy i was trying to do things in between customers and it has been a pretty long week the sun has gone down and i was busy so i didn't get to do the whole Watch me put up the Christmas lights thing, but I did get them up in the front anyway. Christmas lights up and I found these stickers my mom had gotten me. Put those on the windows. They look really cool. Good news is it's the weekend. We are staying pretty busy and I appreciate that for sure. We've got 2,500 new toys coming in. I've got 200 Funko Pops I gotta get on the shelves. And it's just time to take some of this stuff 
rearrange it, get it off the shelves. Behind me, I have several pallets of Walmart overstock toys, and we are going to jump into it. All right, first box. Giant size, two by three feet. Fucking world map. All right, there's box number one. Next box, what do we got, Jess? Ooh. Okay. Are they all the same? Barbie Extra. I like the packaging on this. Yeah. That's probably very nice. Are they all the same? Yeah. All right. We we're about halfway through, maybe a little less, but unfortunately we're finding some off-brand private label stuff. It hasn't been really overwhelming or anything. Little disappointed is probably the best way to describe how we're feeling. There it is, the Walmart Overstock buy. It was supposed to be around four pallets. They condensed it into two pallets, but we got quite a bit of stuff. We are definitely going to have to do some rearranging to get all this stuff on the shelves. Hey everybody, today's the day. It's like T minus one hour until Santa Claus gets here and I have a mess. It is Christmas down at the toy store. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, toy load coming in. It's about 1200 toys, but today we have a truckload of shelves to get in here. Yeah, that's a lot of teas. But anyway, we're gonna get these shelves in here. It's raining, so we're gonna have to wipe everything down, but the Christmas tree has to go. All this stuff back here has to go. It is the official first day of business after the Christmas holidays. Mostly about, you know, what's going to happen after Christmas. Obviously, Christmas is over. That huge spike in sales that we had, that type of money is only going to come in before Christmas, you know, leading up to Christmas. And then I expect sales to really dive off. As a matter of fact, today we did have customers. We did make some sales. It was steady. I was really kind of surprised, but I am extremely worried. I'm nervous and um, we're experiencing, you know, the post Christmas part of being a toy store. The store is a brand. It's its own brand. If I can focus on growing it while slowly building some inventory up, grow the brand through word of mouth, great customer service, keep the store clean, keep the shelves stocked with product that you can find everywhere else but it's cheaper here. As long as I can do that type of stuff, the, the store, the brand itself is gonna grow. And with that growth is gonna hopefully uh, continued business, right? A little bit of new business, continued business, roll it all together and just hope that it, it's sustainable. I think just having the guts to stick it out, right? Times are gonna be tough. Times are gonna be tough for a while. They might be tough all the way till next Christmas. Just stick it out, gut it out, get day to day, get the bills paid. If that means working more overtime at work, fine. Find someone to come in here while I work overtime at work on the weekends to get the job done. Whatever it takes to keep the store open, I'm gonna do. 110%, whatever it takes to keep the store open, that's the plan. It is 2024 down at the toy store. Happy New Year. 
I'm super excited for 2024. I cannot wait for this year. There are big plans for the store. A lot of things in the works. Being sick really put me behind a couple days. So we just gotta deal with it the best we can. Keep checking stuff off the list and eventually we will get it all complete. I'm cleaning up this Sun Squad stuff. There is a lot of summer stuff in here and we had some summer stuff from the last target load. I'm telling you guys, come summertime, we are going to be the go-to place for Sun Squad floaties and pool accessory. Target overstock auction toy buy coming into the shop. I had to get the floors cleaned, mopped. I had a little bit of help today and it went pretty smooth for the most part. About the toy load that's coming in tomorrow, I know there are some bigger items in there because when I called the shipping company, they said, eh, 70 units, four pallets. I peeked at the manifest before my brother bid on this. I did see an exercise bike in there. We won't be selling that in the toy store. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about taking that home for myself. I've had a couple customers in already, but the weather outside is still pretty bad. So I'm not sure how busy it will be. There's no excuses. We're getting it done. I've said this a couple times. If you're gonna buy overstock, just prepare for stuff like this. You're, you're gonna have a lot of open items, stuff you can't sell, and it'll be your job to kind of figure out what you wanna do with them. It does start to add up. This down here, several boxes of stuff I can't sell. And I just kinda wanna show everybody, for example, this buzzers game, okay? Don't ask me why anyone would do this. I don't know, just for fun. But I opened it up just to make sure it was all there and you're missing one of the buzzers, missing the green buzzer. No clue why someone would bust into this to take that green buzzer, but there it is. I know how we're gonna fix this. There you go, includes three buzzers. Tape it up, good as new. I'm starting to see a little bit of daylight here, getting some of this out of the way. The store has been a little steady so it's been slow going back here i want to show everybody where it's at in the store it is in this corner here beside the figure wall and yeah there it is i do use facebook and i post all the specials on facebook and that actually brings people in so if you have a toy store or any other business really make sure you leverage that social media okay Today, I'm kind of going through the normal routine lately. I've been coming out a little bit early, making sure I get the floors all swept up. Then after I sweep, I gotta throw the mop on it, get everything nice and shiny before we open. Once I get all that going, I'll kind of take a lap around the store just to see what I need to do for the day. Anything I can do to improve the flow of traffic, the sale of toys, placement, anything I can do around the store that is going to sell an item or bring more attention to an item that's not selling. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to learn as I go. And a lot of it's just trial and error. For me right now in this situation, it's the best way to learn. Just keep doing it and try different things and whatever's working, stick with it for a while. Don't change it because you just think you need to change something. Next thing I wanna talk about, the target load we won yesterday. I misspoke, it's actually 1,600 toys, not 1,800 toys. That already came out of the bank account, it's paid for, don't have to worry about that, and I should have some tracking information soon enough. I do have one more update. I'm not sure if it's really an update, it's more like a Hey, this is what's going on. I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to see, but out there is the marquee, and we were waiting on a marquee sign. 
hopefully get all the information on that today and get that out there because we don't have a sign on the marquee. As far as what I've got going in the shop today, there are a few things I need to get done, especially now that we have 1,600 more toys coming in. And I'm gonna kind of show everybody what that is. We are really gonna be focusing this month on getting the older stuff sold because we are really gonna focus in on buying inventory. We're gonna spend the money. Any money we make, it's going toward more toys and we'll figure out where to put it later. It's February, I know it's after Christmas, toy stores are supposed to be a little slower and I just don't know. We haven't had a toy store before. Maybe it's just that time of year and I should be a little bit more patient but I feel like the end caps need to get changed up a little bit. I just don't know what I should be doing with them. There are a couple spots in the toy store that we have inventory, old inventory. There are some sections of toys. They're older toys or they're toys that haven't moved. We're really gonna be pushing to get those out the door just because we can get newer toys in here. We wanna keep the store fresh, keep new toys coming in. The only way you can do that is to sell your old stuff. Really amazing weather outside for this time of year. So I expect a lot of foot traffic today. If we will look right here, this is a disaster. This needs to get cleaned up. It's kind of like that because yesterday I was gonna work on some shelves. We got super busy. So I just tossed all that stuff back there to get it out of the way but I definitely want to get working on that, figure out what I'm doing there. The next thing, we are almost done pricing everything right on time, right? Need to finish this. This has to get done today. Have to clean these boxes out of here, get the back finished because we have a new toy truck coming in. I am going to put up some flash sales on Facebook. Gonna probably do those big Barbies for like 39, maybe 49. They're at 49 now, maybe. I'm gonna flash sale some stuff. One of the things I'm gonna put on sale, really deep discount, these FAO Schwartz pianos. I might do those for like 10 bucks. Something really cheap, just get the FAO stuff kind of moving. It hasn't really sold since Christmas. Matter of fact, I might do like a 50% off anything FAO. Anything FAO might do like 50% off. We got destroyed. I mean, we lost a lot of money on that truck. We've recovered, but that truck set us back. That truck definitely set us back. The reason I'm saying all this, these were some tough, tough lessons at the beginning of the store's life. And that's only been three months ago. It seems like forever. It seems like forever ago, but those were some tough, hard lessons and we stuck it out. We were grinding. We had to get better at buying toys and it didn't happen right away. We went through another person got burned on that load. It was a Walmart overstock load. We didn't pay as much money. We didn't have as much invested, but we still didn't make our money back, I don't think. There's still a lot of that product in the store. Decent product, just no money to be made there. So that load, we kind of just, it was kind of just throwing more money into the black hole. After that, there were a few more buys from various places, but it feels like a long time ago. It was just this huge hill we had to climb, had to learn some lessons. That kind of went way off what I was talking about, but what I think I'm trying to say, all right, I'm gonna try to bring it back. <laughs> what I think I'm trying to say is don't give up. If you're trying to do something, if you're trying to get into overstock, if you're trying to do whatever it is, just don't give up. If you believe in it, keep grinding. We knew, we knew there was a better way to buy toys it just took us a lot of time, a lot of heartache, a lot of money. It took us a lot of money to find out the best way to do it. We have been busy, lots to do down here. We're kind of doing a store revamp, store renovation, freshening the place up, so to speak. And I figured the best way to show everybody was just to show everybody. It's been a while since we've done kind of a store walkthrough. Today will be the perfect day to do it. I can point out what I'm gonna be working on, my hopes and dreams for the store today, so to speak. To do. Let's start right up front. I went ahead and straightened up the Lego already. It looks pretty good. Sold a couple Lego sets yesterday. No big impact here. These should be okay. Let out a sigh of relief. Breathe easy. No need to mess with the Legos. Coming into the Funko area, the Funko wall. Got a couple gaps to fill in. Let's check out the big pillar here where we keep some of the 10 inch stuff. I'm gonna keep going. We'll skip over this way to what I've got going past the Funko wall here. Dinosaurs, I was able to fill this out a little bit yesterday. 
did some facing. However, I moved a bunch of the figures from here. I'm gonna show everybody the mess I got going back here. Some of this happened after I closed last night. Some of it didn't, some of it was already here, but this needs to get done probably first thing today. Put the new ball pit back here. This looks really good. Definitely a huge improvement over this. This needs to go away. I need to get rid of it, put it in the back. I'm not saying I'm thankful for this, but yesterday it was a little bit slower in the store. Steady, but slower. And I'm kind of glad. I really don't like people coming into the store when it looks like this. I'm talking about all this stuff. I'm talking about how messy it is but it's probably a bigger deal to us than it is to the customer. We are really trying to set the bar a little higher. These are just toys I need to price. I drug them up here, I was working on it last night. I did make some progress. I've got empty totes, empty boxes, totes that are about halfway full, garbage, and then this is all stuff that I need to start on. There's plenty of puzzles and games. This thing looks pretty full. I do need to get down through there, kind of straighten them up. Remember when, when this was all stuffed animals? Definitely a good change. I'm digging the puzzles up there. I'm digging the stuffed animals in their little bin here. This area right here got the ball pit going. Stuffed animals are looking good. This shelf's cleaned up looking a lot better. And I know it's hard to see, but we are making a dent in that pile. Sometimes you gotta step back, right? Because this isn't just my toy store. This is everybody's toy store that's been following along in these videos. It's ours, okay? It's not just mine. The reason I'm saying that, I have filmed every step of the way. From day one, when it was completely empty in here, but at one time, there was nothing in here. And sometimes I just have to step back kind of close my eyes, breathe in a little bit, and realize this place has come a long way in just four short months. I put a lot of pressure on myself to make this work, and I think we are doing a heck of a job.